Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there? Um, I wanted to run through a quick tutorial here. I know there's been a lot of uh, requests on giving kind of a basic uh, tutorial and a breakdown and a walkthrough on adding a system to Hyperspin and, Lock and Rocket Launcher. And so I wanted to kind of run through both of them and kind of tie both of them together so we can kind of um, do this together. Um, so basically, we'll start from the beginning. Um, so you, you, you want to go to two different sites, obviously. The first one you want to go is the hyperspinfe.com site. Um, I'm registered. If you register here, it's free. Um, if you want uh, some of the higher end videos, like the 720p videos, then I think you've got to pay. But anyways, we'll keep this pretty basic. The hyperspin install, full install 1.3. 1.33 is what you're going to need. Um, I've pulled a 1416, so you don't necessarily need that one. I think you can do the 5. Either way, um, Rocket Launcher is the other site, rlauncher.com. Again, I'm registered here. So if you register, then you're able to you know, pull all these, um, these downloads. But the one you're really going to need is you're going to need two files. One's going to be the Rocket Launcher full version, obviously. And there you're going to want this media pack as well. I've already pulled them down. So I'll just kind of show that real quick. I've pulled them down with the... <clears throat> there's a zip file. There's the full hyperspin um, zip. The upgrade, which I haven't applied yet. We can apply that here in a second. Um, the rocket launcher zip. I've already extracted both of these. And then the rocket launcher media. I don't think I've done that one yet. So we can start, I guess, because this one will take a little while. So we can just actually start with this one here. So let's extract the files. And then where we want to, actually, we'll do it this way. That is uh, just go ahead and let that go there. Let's see, I had some other things running as well. Okay, so this this is here. I was just uh, just kind of show you here. The only thing I was doing here is is the Hyperspin emulators. I was just dropping this Mame. I downloaded Mame, and you can you can get that. You know, I won't go into where you get the Mame and where you get ROMs or any of that. But um, this is a good having that I've got it in the emulators I've copied it over so let's go back here so going back to so we've got everything extracted we'll go back to the C drive I created a hyperspin folder like I was telling you earlier I cop I extracted everything here already so as you can see everything's already here I'm gonna um, we're not gonna need this modules or this install instructions so we'll just go ahead and get rid of these we will go to settings though and one of the main um, settings that you have to apply is the settings.ini what you want to do here is it's looking for hyper launch path and here's how um, what I'm showing here is this is a way you get hyperspin at talk with your rocket launcher and what it wants to know is is you know where's the path itself and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open a lot of these windows so that way you can do them the same way if you need to. So if you go to your rocket launcher path, really what it's looking for is this. The easiest way to do it obviously is uh, you know you can copy you can copy this and then you you know you're gonna use the same here for that. So going back to the INI file, we'll just do this. Control V there, and then we'll do the same thing again. Rocket launcher. Dot exe, and then just go ahead and save this. Okay, and before I forget, um, let's go back to. Um, let's see. Let's go back to settings under rocket launcher and we're going to take this example out of the Sinai file 
Um, basically, what this is going to do is, is I'll show you the file in a second. What we're actually doing. If you look at the file, you have a breakdown of basically all the path and H AHK files that you're going to need. Basically, these are all your emulator paths, and you need to have those set in place. Um, so let's get out of this. Let's see where we are on this. Okay, so so all this is extracted here. So I'll close it. Um, got a couple of errors. It looks like here, but I think we're okay. Um, so what we're gonna what we're gonna do with that is because we have it. Um, Let's see, here are my files. I went ahead and kept all the media here. What you can actually do is, is you can replace the media because it is rocket launcher stuff. Let's go back out to rocket launcher itself and you're gonna replace the media path here. So it says, hey, it already has everything contained. Do you wanna replace it? And just say yes on that. So as you can see, it's going to replace uh, basically all the media, um, but set for <clears throat> your rocket launcher. Okay, so where we're at now is, let's see here. So let's go back to our hyperspin. Actually, you know what, let's, let's um, let me minimize this. Let's go to our rocket launcher instead. Sorry, I know it seems like I'm shooting around everywhere, but it's just kind of the way more <laughs> I operate. It's a little chaos mode there, but um, so let's go ahead and launch this, make sure this launches. Again, I have it running on my C drive, so um, depending on where you extract this, you may have it on your C, you may have it on your X drive, you may have it on you know, a different drive. It just really depends on um, where you want it to run. So let's see here. So, sorry, it's kind of late too, guys. So it's probably taking its toll, though. So you know, kind of bear with me with this time that it's taken here for all this stuff to really work properly. <laughs> so we'll just uh, okay. So I'm just gonna say yes to all the rest of this. Yeah, copy and replace all that. And um, just real quick, while that goes, so so the main folders here, just to kind of go over this again, is again you need the hyperspin folder, you need the rocket launch folder, and then you need the uh, this temp directory that you're going to use. Okay, so let's go back into this, see what's going on with this. There we go. Okay, so it finally came up. So new updates were detected. Do you want to update now? You know, you could say yes. I guess you could say yes here. It'll pull to the latest version. Just say, um, check for updates. And I know some people, I know some of you guys ha actually have this online. And you keep it online, you know, which is always a good thing. I have, you know, most of the time when I've set it up, I'll set it up and I'll kind of walk away from it a little bit. And, um, you know, I tend to find more stability in not having it online. But that's just really kind of my opinion on it. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can you can keep it online. Obviously, you're going to want to keep your windows up to date, etc. So, okay. So, I'm just going to run that updater here real quick. I really should have said no, don't update, I guess. But <laughs> if you want the latest updates, I guess you'll do that too. So we'll just let's go ahead and launch your Wow, we're already going into nine minutes, huh? That's okay. Alright, so um let's let's um start this um real quick. So so there's a few things initially when you when you launch this that you're gonna look out for. And um I typically go straight to this rocket launcher here. Um let's see here, let me scroll down a little bit. And what you want to do is you want to add the new front end. We're going to call it hyperspin, obviously. And so, you know, earlier we showed how you connect your rocket launcher to your hyperspin, and now, or excuse me, your hyperspin to your rocket launcher on the using the INI file. So right now we're going to do the.